Time to check in with Mike Yanni on location in Inglewood at Silk Road. Getting spicy this morning, Mike. Uh, you're talking about cinnamon. I am, and I thought I was being all clever going to throw into commercial with my tease about what is this? Guess what this is? And then if you were had a keen eye this morning, looked at the bottom of the screen, it said cinnamon in giant letters. Uh, and sure enough, this is cinnamon. Many people probably don't know where cinnamon comes from, uh, and it. It is the bark from a tree, I guess, right, Kelsey? Yeah, it is. So this is sort of cinnamon. It's actually cassia. So most of the cinnamon that you buy in Canada is cassia, which is a related plant, but it's not true cinnamon. So right. that's the first thing that we tell people. It often surprises them when they come in. It's good. We don't want people to think they've been ripped off. Cassia is delicious, but, but it's not, not the real thing. true cinnamon. No. But it's, so really, it's just bark. Ground finally up for the yeah, most part. Yeah, so this one, this is cinnamon. This is Vietnamese cinnamon, and this is the most popular thing in our entire store. So we only sell it ground because this is a bit unwieldy to work with. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's allowed to mature longer on the tree, so it has more essential oil. It's really, really strong, spicy. If you smell it, it's totally different than anything you've ever had. You can't go back to regular cinnamon after this. So we have some of the cinnamons here. Now this is the Vietnamese uh, yeah. cash that you have in your hand. They're ground up and. You said that I have to smell this to Absolutely. believe what this is. Yeah, give it a little shake and have a smell. That, that's pretty incredible. It hits you. It yeah. smells almost like you have a jar full of the red hot cinnamon exactly. candies. That's really, really it's potent. It's got like a natural sweetness with tons of spiciness. It's just really intense, really delicious. So this is Indonesian here, and this is the one you're probably most familiar with. So just those little scrolls. So the bark is cut in little rectangles, allowed to line the sun. It curls up into that scroll shape. This is normally, if it just says cinnamon, it'll be Indonesian. Now, this here, this is true, true cinnamon. And I'm, I'm going to open it up because I'm going to assume this is going to have a really powerful, powerful smell. And it probably smells like almost nothing, right? You're right. I yeah. Can't smell that. <laughs> so this is from Sri Lanka. All true cinnamon, the real deal, is grown in Sri Lanka. And it is picked by skilled workers called cinnamon peelers. And these are the sticks. So... They are rolled up like little scrolls, like a cigar. Like this is skilled work to be able to do this. And it's very delicate, subtle, floral, got sort of a lemony thing, really complex. And it's beautiful, but try so this. More subtle flavor, just more, more subtle. It more doesn't complex. have the spiciness we expect. But if you get past that, it's totally amazing. Smell it now. As soon as you crack it open, you could. Yeah, smell then you this. really get it. Yeah. Who knew that there's all these different types of, well, I want to say cinnamon, but there's only one true cinnamon grown in Sri Lanka. Rest, kasha. But hey, you know what? It smells amazing, and if it does the job, why not? But if you want true cinnamon, you got to come here. All right, thanks, yeah. Mike. He's at Silk Road in Inglewood, of course. Yeah, learning new things about spices this morning. Uh, a